Hey students, this is your hints video for lesson 4.4, which is solving multi-step inequalities. So we're gonna solve these just like we did equations. We're gonna start by getting the term with the variable by itself. So for number eight, I'm gonna add seven to both sides. I'm gonna write my new inequality over here. I have five is greater than m over six. Now to solve for m, I'm gonna multiply both sides by six and I got, get 30 is greater than m. So that means I have an open circle on the 30, and if 30 is greater than m, that means m is less than 30, so I'm gonna shade to the left or use this button right here. All right, for my next problem, I wanna get this b term by itself, so I'm gonna add 5.3 to both sides, I get negative 1.2b is greater than or equal to be 7.2. Okay, now I'm gonna divide both sides by negative 1.2, and I get b is, I have to switch my inequality sign here, and then I'm gonna divide 7.2 by 1.2, and I know that 72 divided by 12 is 6, so this will be b is less than or equal to negative 6. So I'm going to have an open circle on negative 6 and, oh, sorry, closed circle on negative 6. It's less than or equal to, and it's less than, so I'm going to be moving to the left. So I'm going to use this button right here. Your next few problems have some distributive property um, to do, and so I'm gonna do a few of those problems. Number 15, I need to distribute my negative 1 fourth to each term inside the parentheses. So I have negative 1 fourth D plus negative 1 fourth is less than two. I'm gonna go ahead and add 1 fourth to both sides, and now I have negative one-fourth D is less than, let's see, I'll write two and one-fourth as an improper fraction. That would be, uh, let's see, four-fourths, eight-fourths, nine-fourths. Okay, then I'm gonna multiply both sides by negative four, and when I rewrite my inequality, I have D, and I need to flip that symbol. D is greater than negative 9. So I need an open circle on the negative 9, and D is greater than that. So I'm going to shade to the right. So that's going to be this button here. All right, number 17 also has distributive property. This one also has uh, decimals. So I'm gonna rewrite the 20 is greater than or equal to, then I'm gonna distribute this negative 3.2. And I have a negative times a negative, so this will be a positive. I just need to figure out what is 4.3 times 3.2. I'll multiply two times three, two times four, three times three, and three times four. Okay, so that's plus 13.76. Now I'll subtract 13.76 from both sides. And let me go ahead and erase here so that I've got some more room to work. Okay, so now I'm gonna subtract 20.00 minus 13.76. I'll borrow. I'll borrow, I'll borrow. Okay, 10 minus six is four, nine minus seven is two, nine minus three is six. Okay, so this is positive 6.24 is greater than or equal to negative 3.2 C. Now I need to divide both sides by negative 3.2, okay. And let me again go ahead and erase so that I've got some room to do my division. All right, so when I divide here, I'm going to rewrite this as 62.4 divided by 32. 
So, okay, 32 only goes into 62 once. It almost goes twice, but just once. That means we're going to be working with a bigger number here. So now 32 goes into 304. Gosh, 32 times 10 is 320, so this must be 9 times. And 9 times 32 would be 270 plus 18, so that would be 288. And let's see, 300 minus 288 is 12, so 4 more, that's 16. I'm going to add a 0 and bring it down, and 32 would go into 160 uh, exactly 5 times, I believe. Okay, so that would be uh, negative 1.95 and C over here. And because we divided by a negative, we need to flip this symbol. So we have negative 1.95 is less than or equal to C. So let's find negative 1.95. That's going to be right here, just to the right of negative 2. And if negative 1.95 is less than or equal to C, that means C is greater than or equal to this number. So I'm going to go ahead and shade to the right. So I'm going to use this number or this uh, symbol right here. All right, you have a few inequalities where you need to simplify before you start solving. So uh, for number 20, we can simplify 3D minus 7D is negative 4D plus the 2.8 is less than, let's see, 5.8 minus 27. I can think of this as 5.8 plus negative 27 to help me see that I'm actually subtracting 27 minus 5.8. So I get negative 21.2. Now I'm going to subtract my 2.8 from both sides. And I have a negative minus a positive. That's like a negative plus a negative. So that's uh, negative 24. And then I'm going to divide by negative 4. And when I do that, I get D on the left side. I get positive 6 on the right side. And because I divided by a negative, I'm going to flip that symbol. So that means I have an open circle on 6, and D is greater than 6. So I am moving to the right. All right, number 21, the scuba diver is at an elevation of negative 38 feet. So that's where he starts. He's moving at a rate of negative 12 feet per minute. So I need to subtract 12 feet per minute. And I want to know how many minutes it will be before the diver is deeper less than negative 200 feet. So this is your starting inequality. I think they actually have it flipped on big ideas. So this works too. And I'm going to let you go ahead and do the solving part on that one on your own. All right, and then number 23, we have the student theater charges $9.50 per ticket. They've already sold 70 tickets. We want to know how many more tickets they need to earn at least $1,000. So we're going to take $9.50 times, I'm just going to write the word tickets in here for right now, $9.50 times however many tickets, that needs to be at least, so greater than or equal to $1,000. Now, for the ticket part, we're told that we've already sold 70, so we want to know how many more we need to be greater than or equal to $1,000. So we can solve this by distributing the $9.50 um, to both the 70 and the X. Um, so $9.50 times 70, I'm just going to say 9.5 times 70. Put our zero as the placeholder here. Uh, 7 times 
5 is 35. 7 times 9 is 63. Plus 3 is 66 with one decimal point here. So that means they've already sold $665 worth of tickets. And we're going to distribute that 9.5 to the X as well. And then we'll subtract 665 from each side. And this will show us how much more money we still need to sell with these remaining tickets. So 1,000 minus 665. I'm going to borrow, borrow, borrow. So I have 5, 3, 3. OK, so this 9.5x is greater than or equal to 335. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 9.5. And I get x is greater than or equal to. Um, I might start by rewriting this as 3,350 divided by 95 just to get the decimal out of there. And then I can think of this as a fraction. And I can divide both 95 and 3,350 by 5 to simplify this. And when I do that, I get x is greater than or equal to 670 over 19. And then I can just rewrite that as a mixed number. And the computation's a little bit complicated here, but I've got uh, 19 goes into 670 35 times with 5 left over. So that's 35 and 5 over 19. So how many tickets do I actually need to sell? That would be 36 because I can't sell a fraction of a ticket.